In this video, I'm going to recreate something I learned from Rui Vaz from the PTC User Forums. Apologize if I didn't pronounce your name correctly. Uh, Rui showed me a way how to create a coordinate system uh, at the center of gravity. This is especially helpful for us since we don't have the behavioral modeling extension uh, or BMX. So what I'm going to do is, uh, again, this video is an attempt to recreate what I, uh, I saw um, Rui create for me. So first let's start off with um, the fact that if you look at your um, your model tree here you have your default coordinate system which most of us have. Now this may be named differently uh, it's not a problem. So the first step that we want to do is quickly create a, a new coordinate system. So we're going to click here to create a coordinate system. The name is really not important so here in the dialog box um, it says select items. I'm going to select the default coordinate system and then I'm just going to go ahead and move this coordinate system uh, you know away from the original default one. The values are irrelevant at this point. Okay so now we have this coordinate system created and one of the things that I I, I want to show you now is on the model properties under mass properties uh, as you see here, that whenever you generate report, it actually calculates the center of gravity based on the the uh, default coordinate system. So the little trick here is that if you create a relation, you can actually drive the location of this coordinate system um, so that it always lands in the uh, where the center of gravity is. So uh, so what we're going to do is switch the tools here. Go to your relations and what we're going to do is add uh, the relations we, we require. Let's go ahead and uh, make sure that we have that secondary coordinate system in view here and click on it in the model tree and you can see the values. Uh, this will be X, this will be Y, this will be Z. So what you want to do is here you want to enter D43 equals the mass properties of the center of gravity for X and then parentheses and then what you want to do is type in quote quote comma quote and then the name of your default coordinate system which in our case it's PRT underscore CSYS underscore DEF then you want to do quote comma quote quote close parentheses and what this is going to do is going to actually fill in the value for X for the center of gravity uh, based on this dimension uh, um, whenever you generate the mass property report. Um, maybe not the best explanation of what's everything that's happening in the background but I think you'll follow along just fine. So let's go ahead and add uh, the, um, the same thing for D44 which will be the Y. So we'll say mass properties center of gravity Y and let's go ahead and paste the back of it and then let's do the same thing for D45 which will represent the Z. Center of gravity for Z paste. So with that go ahead and hit OK. And what this does is, is when we hit, let's go back to the model tab here, when we hit regenerate the coordinate system has changed to the center of gravity as you can see it here and also a little difficult. You can see it there. And to test this um, Let's go ahead and create an extrude on this surface here. And we're just going to create a, a rectangle box. Uh, again, I'm not going to you know, worry about how it's dimension. It's just to let's make a change, a big enough change here so the center of gravity would shift. Okay. So again, right now we're over here. And you'll notice that when you hit regenerate, it doesn't recalculate this coordinate system. But if you go to your model properties, go to change here and regenerate that report and every time this regenerates it recalculates the center of gravity which is then passed on uh, based on those relations to that corner system so now when we hit regenerate you'll see that the corner system has relocated to the new center of gravity again it's a pretty cool trick that I, uh, I learned from uh, uh, Rui, R-U-I, I really appreciate it and I actually shared this with some of my engineers and they actually appreciate it because in some cases they want to be able to put a coordinate system 
in the center of gravity, but we don't have the BMX extension. So this is a really neat way to accomplish that. Not exactly fully automated, but as you can see, pretty easy to uh, set up and, and recalculate as needed. So with that, I uh, hope you guys uh, get something out of this video. I know I did, and I learned something uh, in the process.